I'm not going to show you how to insert an RTU with the RTU wizard and using the routing function of the 850 telemetry gateway configurator. First of all, I start with I create a new net. I need to lock. Sorry, I need to lock the gateway. Then we are creating a new area. I right mouse click. I give them a name. It automatically sorts it. I select the area, the new RTU area. I click right mouse click, start. RTU wizard. I give them a name. I enter the code of the RTU, which is typically the same as the serial number. I choose the type of the RTU. In this case, it's an ace one thread three. I enter now the location. I zoom in. So that's the name here is just a rough information. And now I drag and drop that to you to the correct position. You can see latitude and longitude is changing. I now add the information about the altitude and I click on finish. The RTU is now in here, so we can start configuring the sensors. We start with the internals, right mouse click, and in our case we select all of them can use them later on. Click OK. Uh, we select IOA because we know on IOA there's temperature and relative humidity sensor connected. So we select them and click OK. Or we double click on the entry and it's now moved from the available sensors to the connected sensors. What you can see is that the available sensors are now reduced and only those are shown which can be connected to this connector. So temperature relative media is connected. We click OK. Now we connect the wind sensor on IOC. We select the IO port, right mouse click, connect sensor. Now we are going for the wind direction and the wind speed. In this case we have a 100 km per hour wind speed. So I multi-select them by clicking, holding the control button and selecting the RTU and I click on connect. A nice feature here to show is you can sort while you connect the sensors by name or manufacturer or type. I click OK. So now the sensors are connected. We now add now an rain gauge sensors, so in this case I choose sorting, and scroll down to the precipitation, double click and it's here, click OK and now I'm going to update the configuration. So that's now the way our NATU is inserted. We can now try to contact the RTO immediately by right mouse click, open the direct command pound by our terminal or we use the ping command. So we try to ping the RTO, the 850 is now pinging the RTO and we can see the battery voltage is on 6.2, the date and the time is set already, internal temperature is 7.3 degrees. So let's see. We have here an RF in of 235 and 255. So it's 
possible to reach the RTU directly. Click OK. In case if you would need to route the RTU through another RTU to reach it, we can use the routing function. So we click on Add. So we add an RTU and now the system shows all available relay stations which are set for the function relaying. Unfortunately our relay station from here is not shown so let me check. Yeah, I need first to enable the functionality for the routing. Meanwhile I click OK and update the configuration. So now it's back to my RTU, go to routing and now my relay station is available. I can now add the station by selecting and using the buttons. Or another function is I zoom in to my zone so it shows me now it's direct connection. I can right click on it and I can say add and now it's using my relay station in the system. I can now click update. So it's now right in configuration to the 850 and the 850 is now updating the information to the A440 to tell the A440 to jump first to the relay station and then to the sailing station to get the data. So right mouse click, ping out to you. So let's see what's going on. And in this case, nothing changed really. It's still 235. 249 so the radio level is not better let's try again oh now it's much better so I assume that the configuration was not updated correctly so this helps to increase the radio level because the relay station on this position is higher than my 840-440 connection in this building here. So I'm jumping on a higher location to have a better contact to my RTO. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you on the next video.